Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to make this quick video about a movie that I absolutely loved and I loved ever since I saw it about two decades ago now. And it's actually celebrating its 20th anniversary on its release. And that movie is Shaun of the Dead. Man, that's one of my favorite movies, again, of all time. And just a little bit about the history of that with as pertains to me. So Shaun of the Dead is kind of a, a love story for zombie movies. And it's a British movie, if you haven't seen it. Really, really funny, but it also has some serious undertones towards the end. Um, but my story, really, I, I first saw it when it hit DVD in the U.S., probably about 2004, maybe early 2005-ish or so. And I remember seeing the movie on the shelf, and I was like, well, Dawn of the Dead. I was really getting into and, and kind of, you know, uh, branching out on my different movie interests. I really was growing, you know, my interest in, in looking at some classics, you know, getting into some horror movies especially in the, the early mid 2000s it's really looking at you know movies that were like saw and and i think around that same time the uh um dawn of the dead remake came out for george romero so movies like that i was really getting interested in and i saw Shaun of the dead on the shelf and i was like oh okay um i recognized i think a couple of the actors that were listed in there but uh it, it seemed like it seemed like an interesting one so i went ahead and took a chance on it bought it and man it really uh blew me out of the way i mean not only the the movie itself not only the 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 zombie you know story itself but the way that the entire movie the entire filmmaking by edgar wright is is everything's connected everything references one another uh he you know he makes decisions in the movie that then kind of connect to different parts in the future like uh there's a scene in the beginning part of the movie where sean the main character he's walking from his his house uh to the shop to go get something and get come back and the different people that he encounters the different things that happen are then referenced later on um and again i don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. it's been 20 years since it came out so spoilers right but once the zombie apocalypse basically happens, he goes through the same motions and comes back. And there's similar things that are referenced throughout. When there's somebody behind him in line, that person, he sees him again as a zombie. Different things. And I think it's, it's, it's a great movie also because it really, to me at least, it hits on the fact that people have become kind of zombified in their own daily life their own mundane lives they're they're just kind of tuned out of anything that's going on in their lives or they're, they're basically zombies uh in a modern world so i thought that that was for me that that's kind of the message that really came through and also uh you know the whole time people were kind of talking about you know you want to do something with your life you don't want to be a loser but by the end i feel like people became comfortable with the the people that they are and you know not taking risks is okay if you're happy and you're comfortable and i think that's you know that can be kind of a nice message obviously i, I don't agree with all of it but um there's a lot of great sentiments in the movie and uh absolutely again i love i love the movie and i love the the work that you know, the, everybody in the movie has done since. Edgar Wright has become one of my favorite directors. Movies like Scott Pilgrim, uh, Last Night in Soho, Baby Drivers. Also, I, I love it. Uh, such a such a great filmmaker, in my opinion. And I got to look at some of his his more his TV stuff. Uh, Nick Frost has done some amazing work as well. Simon Pegg has done a ton of work. Voice actor for uh, cartoons and and um and video games and of course he's gone on to be in star wars star trek you know a bunch of different mission impossible a bunch of different properties um but also uh one of the things that some people that were fans of it didn't know is that it was based off of an episode of a tv show that edgar wright and simon Pegg and of course nick ross was in called spaced and after i had saw the movie and I kind of learned that this came out before I, I jumped on it. And I've been, I'm a huge fan of it. Again, similar 
uh, comedic stylings, similar uh, uh, types of scenarios in uh, Spaced, which is only two seasons. I think it's fantastic. But there's an episode in there that they basically they, they base it off of Resident their love for Resident Evil, and it's it's a funny episode. But then that was kind of the inspiration for the movie Shaun of the Dead, and of course um, there's actually a funny part about Shaun of the Dead because. There's actually a trilogy. So Shaun of the Dead is the first of three movies in a collection basically called the Cornetto, uh, the Three Flavors Cornetto Trilogy, which I have the uh, the Blu-ray here for it. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End, which I love all of them. World's End is kind of the, the, the weakest of the three for me, but um, great movies, and it's funny. I'm... I, the, the Coronado Trilogy is definitely one to pick up. Either Blu-ray, there's 4K Blu-ray now I don't have. But it's funny how this became kind of an unofficial trilogy and then a, 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 you know, an actual trilogy. So, yeah, definitely recommend all three. But, yeah, celebrating 20 years of Shaun the Dead and its impact on not only mainstream media, but also uh, internet culture as well, especially with Star Wars, especially with... The, the heavy hitters of uh, Edgar Wright, um, Nick Frost, and Simon Pegg, and of course a bunch of the other actors that are in there have gone on to, to do some great work. But those three actors have really, uh, those three people, two actors, <laughs> director, have gone on to do some amazing work that has uh, inspired a whole new generation of filmmakers and, and TV actors, producers, directors, and has basically it was it was uh, a great movie to see in my formative years of um, becoming more interested in in movies I had not experienced and genres I had not experienced. So thank you, Shaun of the Dead, for bringing me into a whole new um, <laughs> subgenre, but also you know really laying the groundwork for for my passion of movies and TV shows. And I've I, I've always been kind of into British humor and and antics and whatnot but that really kind of sealed the deal for me was that along with all, everything else I've, I've been a fan of monty python and and just a ton of other different media but yeah 20 years on and it's a great it, it's been great to reflect and rewatch a lot of the the movies especially like Shaun of the dead i'm excited to hear and see what your relationship with Shaun of the dead is is this something you've seen recently? Is it something you've been a fan of since you first saw it 20 years ago? Uh, have you seen the Spaced series? Uh, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts on Sean Dead. Is it something that you love? Is it something that you don't really care for? Uh, let me know. I'm a big fan, so I want to hear. I want to hear everything about it. So, thank you again for tuning in and tune in soon. I'm going to be creating some more videos coming up. But have a great day and game on.